So here's your voice. Now, the easiest thing, this, this is now on a 200 milliamps per centimeter squared, running around 15.5 amps of current. That's the cell. Electrodes survive as long as you keep the temperature low. These are the uh, lead dioxide composite substrate, lead dioxide plated electrode. And, of course, I'll show you just how sensitive this is. So you see, numbers 26.4, right? Let's flip that around which is equal to 15 amps when you divide by 1.7, which is the average resistance. Now, look what happens if I just do this. Like, you can see... I didn't move it very much, and it's at 28. And if I drop it, I'm not even moving it a lot. Like... It's only there. Like, I haven't moved it much and it's at 24. Because you see, it really goes up so quickly at this uh, phase. Because this is, in the potential curve, it's a very steep exponential uh, relationship. So, I really have to literally fiddle with it so much just to get it to stay at the voltage I want. And if I move even a freaking twitch, it's gonna get too high. This is the set point at exactly 200. This will be the uh, 26.3 will be the factor. Anyway, I'm just showing you how touchy this thing is. So, yeah. Spruiser's voice. So, here's another run of our perchlorate cell. This time to completion. Wait, give me a second. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry. So yeah, here is our uh, test solution. This is uh, potassium chloride. Well then, let's let's zoom in here first. Okay. Yep, that confirms it. Look how fast that precipitate is. And this is like more than a liter of uh, stuff. So you can imagine how much is in here. There's barely any chlorate left. This was using the uh, cyanoacrylate uh, substrate composite lead dioxide electrode where I essentially mix cyanoacrylate with this stuff. Don't worry, that stuff is granular, so there's no big issue. The powder is over there, and you have to wet it before grinding, just to be safe. Anyway, you mix cyanoacrylate with that, then you add it onto a titanium mesh, then you plate it using a soluble salt of your choice. Preferably oxidizing acid salts like nitrate, chlorate, and perchlorate of lead which will allow you to produce the uh, beta form of this thing. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boil it down in an aluminum pan and I'll see you guys there. It's me, Mr. Voice. Something weird is going on here. So normally when I crash out something like chlorate, it forms sort of semi-moldable crystals, but this has the consistency of soft-serve ice cream. Like, this is completely different. It's like a literal gel. But it's not. It, it's crystals. But it kind of looks like it, it has a consistency of soft serve ice cream. Maybe, maybe because it forms several types of hydrates. Like on the side, it seems to be crusting, even though it sort of still dries up more. And and it, and I don't know. It also has double the solubility of of the precursor. So that explains why it's crashing out all at once in this weird sort of soft serve ice cream type style they call this forbidden ice cream yeah well let's let it dry a bit more it's a lot so the screwed product there's quite a lot of it i'm going to store it over there until i can get myself some acetone to purify it oh yeah I'll get back to you guys once I've stored it in there because I can't do this with one hand. Okay, I'm back. Overall, we got around this much. I don't know how much that is. I guess I can weigh it. It's probably hydrated. 
And I don't really know how much chlorate I began with. I just assumed I put around 600 grams. Well, got around that much. Well, I don't know how many, how much I actually put in. I think I put in around like 400, 300, well, whatever. We ended up with 627 grams of crude product, which is mostly perchlorate with some remaining amount of chlorate. Well, that remaining amount of chlorate, I'm going to deal with it now until I get acetone to actually separate the two.